Oh, I hate her. Angie. Yo, Dang. Drew Phelan just came out of nowhere. Yo. Find a good day. Welcome back, DNE family. Alright, so if you're new here, make sure to like. I mean, actually, even if you're not new, you could still like, comment, subscribe. This is the beautiful Darlene, and I am Eugene. You didn't even introduce yourself. There are new people here. You don't, you don't get that new. Come on, you gotta let them know who you are. Hi, guys. <laughs> you, know like, you know what you're looking like right now? You look like you just came out. You came out from like plane or something. Your parents are like, "Did you say hi to everyone?" Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <Hey. laughs> but like she was saying, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you could be the first one notified whenever we drop a video. Follow us on Instagram, darling underscore Eugene. Talk to us. We love to talk back. And without further ado, we are back with a part two. Of what is this thing called? Urban right? Dictionary Challenge. What she said, and the rules are very simple. I got the Urban Dictionary right here on my phone. I'm gonna be asking her a bunch of words. Well, I'm gonna ask her what these words mean, and she's gonna have to define them. And what the Urban Dictionary is is just like modern slang words that we use on a day-to-day -day basis, pretty much. Or even phrases. For, yeah, that too. And we are gonna see if she knows them. We are gonna see if her her urban vocabulary is on point. Mine was on trash. I'm not gonna stunt. <laughs> we are gonna see if hers is on point. Uh, so the, the first word we got here, like, you can't be cheating. You oh feel gosh, me? Oh gosh, all right. You can't be cheating. Z locate. Z locate. Z dash locate. Does it mean to find someone quickly? Mm. Or by using like a you got the you got the device. no you got the local you got the searching but you got searching right like you're definitely locating something like you're looking for something but the question is what is it that you're looking for? Z zebra. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually pronounced zebra. Whatever. Okay. Um. I don't know. I'm looking for the bag. Just the bag. Yo, you see what? Yo, you're wild. Man. Nah. So, Z locate is mostly used by hackers. This word means to locate or collect data on someone using Facebook. The example is, okay, guys, let's Z locate his data. Wow. I would have never guessed. But we can also Z locate Z bag. <laughs> I rock with that. That's different. No, I'm serious. Hey, stop trying to cheat. I'm not. I see you looking at the phone. All you right. think you're slick. Hey, I'll stay over here. All right. Okay, we can't do this one. Hmm. No swears. That's right. Okay, this one. Mammograph. Mammograph? Mammograph. Mammograph. Yeah, or mammograph. Mammograph. A mammograph? Mammograph. Um... Isn't that like when you kind of get like around your breast area, like examined? Does it have to do with tissues? Are you close? Yeah, it has to do with tissues. Can you repeat? Can you repeat your definition again? Here, that was a. Where you get like your breasts examined for like any type of cancers or something. Like some part of your body examined. How are they using it? A celebrity, or a, ce a, a celebrity. It's a celebrity signature written on a female's breast, usually with a sharpie brand marker. Yeah, so a celebrity. Uh, yeah, I read that. Mammograph. Oh. Okay. Cause I'm like, mammo usually has to do with the breast, but graph part. Okay. Interesting. Next up, Textrovert. This is someone who just likes to text. They don't like being on the phone or anything like that. They, they prefer texting. Or they're terrible at texting. Like 
they can't hold the conversation through text. Yes and no. The definition that they gave here is one who uh, one who feels an increased sense of bravery over texting, as opposed to in person. The second definition, one who one who will often only say what they really feel over text. For example, Kelly. So how did the conversation go with Bill last night, Wendy? Uh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They didn't even use the word. The heck? Let me see. They didn't use the word here. Never mind. See, they didn't use the word here, but there he goes. Oh, they did. Ah, uh, he's such a extrovert. We didn't make any progress until I went home and he spilled his guts over text. Oh, that's just the conversation that they're having. Oh, and they're continuing. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. You got me looking mm, like Interesting. Crazy. Textograph. Textogram. What is, what's the word? Textrovert. Textrovert. Okay. Such a textrovert. All right, well, the next word is wit. Wit? W-I-T. Oh, it's like an insult, right? Or someone's very clever with their words. Um, is it something on your body? I don't know. The ability to think quickly, often associated with humor. Yeah, like someone's clever. Oh, so yeah, you got half of it right. Yeah. My fault, y'all. My fault. I can't be stealing your Slack points. Slack adapting. Ooh, well, we need to put that one in the Urban Dictionary. We should. Slack and that. Can you be coming up with words every day? Let's put that in tonight. You, hey, but make sure you copyright it, you feel me? Because you need, you need all the... Slack and You need all the, the coins that come with that word. Okay. Yeah, boy. That's really in there? Are we joking? Um, That's like to like applaud someone or like to agree with someone or what <laughs> what what <laughs> yeah boy that's not the definition for from for, for what's in the urban dictionary is it an insult no what? it's a slogan it's flavor flavor slogan that's why i said it the way i said it yeah boy yeah boy you can see it too, legitimately. It's yeah, a flavor place. Boy. Isn't that how. What? Style was yeah, playing. I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. Okay. Next one G code. G code. Is this um, like an agreement between two guy friends? Yes, well, what is the agreement? To always stay true to each other, to keep a secret between each other, to like respect each other in a certain way. You you get that one. The G code is a set is a set very basic rule that if uh, that if you follow very careful carefully, wow, you will have the upper hand on anyone who means to do you harm. It's not so much a secret as a humble understanding of the ways of the world to boats and to flaunt our direct violations of it. So those who frequently speak in public about the G-Code do not fully grasp the concept the G-Code is a way of life, a survival technique that has endured conflicts since the uh, arrival of the first slave of the Eastern Seaboard. Hmm. <laughs> she said, are you done? <laughs> Angie. Oh, I hate her. Angie. Oh, gosh. You hate her? Yeah, Angie's freaking disgusting. If it's the Angie that I know. Yo, true feelings just came out of nowhere. Yo, she said, she got me in my feelings. Is Angie? You gotta be real with did it. Did they put a description of what she looks like? Yeah, and it's the exact opposite of what you're talking about. Oh, wait, is Angie like... Long hair, Hispanic, uh, works for like the police department. No? Wow, you really just put someone's government out there and everything. She no, <laughs> I hate Angela. Deputy AUSA, 
Angela Valdez. Angela from Power. I hate her, so I figured oh. they'll be calling her Angie. Mm -hmm. Angie's with the S are beautiful, smart girls. They are shy sometimes, but once you get to know them, they are a bit crazy but amazing people to hang out with. Angie's are social and very outgoing. They are a lot of fun and always nice. And I'm not gonna continue, but you now get. I want to know why they call them Angie's. Like, where did that come from? Why do they gotta be Angie's? Like, why can't they just be, you know, Darlene's. like Darlene's? Wow, great minds really do think alike. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Remember, happy wife, happy life. Remember, I said that, you guys. You guys better learn from me if y'all plan to get married anytime soon. You don't know. Angie's. What's my next word, boss? You should know this one. OTW. OTW? Use abbreviations all the time. I do. OTW? On the way? Oh. Yeah. Look at her. Look at her. Don't doubt well, yourself. There must be something else. Don't doubt yourself. Alright, what's my last word? Dolphin style. What? Is this a sexual position? Uh, it's gotta do with sex. <laughs> um, where you're on someone's back or something? I don't know. <laughs> when you and your lover hook up underwater and have mad sex in a delicious, weightless, underwater kingdom, Dolphin World is one place where you can have a lot of hot sex with cheerleader dolphin style. Cheerleaders dolphin style. Most people do dolphin style in a nice, cool pool in the dark. Best sex position ever. I don't think you want the example. At least you want. Um, I fully understand. <laughs> I don't think I need an example. Wow, whoever wrote that? There's something. You're, you're an interesting person. I'll tell you that. We know what they like to do yeah, on their yeah, on their yeah. free time. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't keep track. I didn't know how much she got right. But for yeah. the people that did keep track, you let us know how much, and we will find out who won. And if there is a tie, then we're gonna have to go for. Oh! Round three. We ain't playing no games out here. We here for the dubs. It's Team Suspot. Strictly. DNA family. Y'all know what's up. Anyways, it's always Team Darlene at the end of the day. She really thinks this is a game. Wait until we turn this. Wait until this camera goes off. We're going to learn. We'll teach you a thing or two. Anyways, DNA family. This is the end of our challenge. Wait, you want to close it out? You already started. You could finish. Oh, I appreciate you guys so much. I hope, we hope you genuinely loved, liked, and just appreciated this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share with the universe and to infinity and beyond. Uh, make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified whenever we drop a video. That's right. Follow us on Instagram, Darlene underscore Eugene. Talk to us, we love to talk back. And then, till next time. Until next time. I might just have to hit you with another rhyme. Hmm. Keep it easy breezy. No cover girls unless you a girl. We love you. Mwah. I don't know.